What is the best Mercedes AMG car ever made? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you. As you know, AMG is Mercedes in-house tuning department, just like BMW's M division. They take the latest Mercedes models and pump them full of mechanical steroids. AMG has been making fast Mercedes since 1967. And here is my pick of the best 15 AMGs ever. Anyway, I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buying a new car? Then head to Car Wow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. Car wow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. I'm kicking off my list with the 2007 AMG R63. AMG actually made a people carrier, but this is no ordinary MPV, oh no. It had a 6.2 litre V8 with 510 horsepower, so it could do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than five seconds. Despite that, Mercedes only sold a few hundred of them, so they're one of the rarest AMGs ever, which is why it goes on my list. How cool would it be to do the school run in one of these at breakneck speeds? Next up is the Red Pig. It sounds like a cartoon character, but it's actually a tuned AMG 300 SEL from the 70s. The 300 SEL was a proper luxurious saloon, but AMG threw away all the leather and the wood and crammed in a 6.8 litre engine with almost 430 horsepower. Then they took it to a 24 hour race at the Spa Track in 1971. It beat all the cars in its class and came second overall, which is pretty incredible really when it's a car that basically started life as a limousine. The new AMG C63 is a serious bit of kit, but I put the previous W204 C63 on my list because it was one of the last naturally aspirated AMGs ever made. It had a massive 6.2 litre V8 with 460 horsepower, and it sounded epic with no turbos getting in the way of the exhaust. And if that wasn't enough, there was also a Black Series version with 517 horsepower. I've actually raced a normal W204 C63 against a brand new C63S, the new one with a twin turbo 4 litre V8 that is. And the old W204 actually won. It's one hell of a car. Now, if you wanna see that video, click on the pop-out banner up there. It's just popping out, you can do. Next on my list is the AMG 300E Hammer. And not just because it has the coolest name ever, the Hammer. You see, this menacing saloon was one of the fastest four doors ever when it came out in the late 1980s. It had a six litre naturally aspirated V8 with 385 horsepower, and it could do more than 190 miles an hour. Now that's faster than a Ferrari Testarossa could do. And I love how mean it looks. It's like a cross between the Batmobile and a Rubik's Cube. I have a real soft spot for this next car. It's the AMG CL65. I was actually really desperate to drive one of these when they came out in the noughties. I love that it looks really subtle, but it has a crazy six litre twin turbo V12 engine with 612 horsepower. Now that's the same amount of horsepower you get in the brand new AMG E63S. Even more mental is the fact that it makes 1,000 newton meters of torque. Now let that sink in. 1,000 newton meters of torque. That's more than you get in most modern AMGs. It's insane, especially as all that power goes to the rear wheels. Today's Mercedes SL isn't much to write home about, but the AMG tune version from the 90s is one of the maddest roadsters ever. It came with a 7.3 litre V12 engine, so it pumped out 525 horsepower and would do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less the five seconds. What I really love about this car is that its engine was still being used up to 2019 because Pagani was still putting them in special edition Zondas. Shows you how good that engine was really, doesn't it? The AMG A45S is just the baby AMG, but its little two litre engine makes 421 horsepower, which means it's the most powerful mass produced four cylinder engine ever. And because the A45S is so small, and light, well, it's not actually that light because it weighs like over one and a half tons. It's an absolute rocket ship. It'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.9 seconds. And it even has a drift mode because you have to be able to drift an AMG, don't you? Regardless of which one it is. I used to have an AMG G63 and it was brilliant. I love that it looked like a far truck or Postman Pat's van. I also love the noise from the side pipes and I loved the way it did 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.1 seconds, even though it weighed as much as my flat. However, even I'll admit that there was an even cooler version of the G-Wagon and it's the old AMG G63 6x6 from 2013. The biggest difference, of course, is the extra set of wheels at the back 
but this monster truck also has portable axles that lift the whole car up higher off the ground for even better off-roading. It also has a 5.5 litre twin turbo V8 with 544 horsepower, so it's built like a tank, but it goes like stink. Next up is the McLaren Mercedes SLR from the mid noughties and before you say it, I know that McLaren actually did most of the work on this car, not AMG, but the SLR does have a proper hand-built AMG engine in it, and that's what really matters, doesn't it? Okay, it's a 5.4 litre V8 supercharged that makes 626 horsepower and it feels like something out of the Mad Max movie, especially when the huge supercharger spools up and you've got to love those side pipes. Oh, and the butterfly doors and the massive bonnet. Yeah, it's insane. It'll even keep up with proper modern GT cars too. I actually raced one against a brand new Ferrari and an Aston Martin and you'll be amazed how well it did. If you want to see just how well it did, I'll put a link up there. Click on that pop-out banner, go watch the video, you'll see. The AMG GT isn't based on a normal Mercedes. It was actually designed from the ground up to be a proper AMG. And I reckon the best version is the MG Black Series. It has tons of upgrades, including an all new crankshaft inside the engine. So instead of a cross plane crank, it has a flat plane crank, just like a Ferrari to help it rev higher. However, as a result, it doesn't sound so good. Dear. Still, it makes more power. In fact, it makes 730 horsepower, which means it's the most powerful V8 engine Mercedes has ever put into a road car. And all those wings and splitters aren't just for show either. They've been nicked straight from the GT3 racing car and they give you 400 kilograms of downforce at 155 miles an hour. That's like carrying a small cow in the boot. The AMG GT Black Series isn't the only AMG inspired by racing cars. The CLK DTM is another one. This started off as a regular CLK coupe, but AMG bolted in a 5.5 litre supercharged V8 with 582 horsepower and gave it a wicked body kit plus a massive wing. And they did all this because they wanted to celebrate racing driver Bern Schneider's fourth title in the German Touring Car Championships. These cars look awesome and only 100 were ever made, so they're super rare as well. Now, Mercedes actually let me launch one of these cars, as well as a load of other classic Mercedes, believe it or not, and I'll put a link to that video just up there. Click on that if you want to watch it. The next car on my list is the E63 S Estate. You know, there's something satisfying about having a 612 horsepower twin turbo V8 Estate that'll do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.5 seconds and hit 186 miles an hour. It looks great on the outside, and it's absolutely lovely inside. Oh, and because it's in a state, it still has space for the dogs in the back. And the best bit is that it's basically just as quick as the AMG GT four door, but it's more practical and it's about 40,000 pounds less. Practicality is all well and good, but sometimes you just want to show off and few cars shout, look at me, louder than an AMG SLS Black Series. Okay, so some people might think you're compensating for something by having a car with such a long bonnet, but there's a reason for that. You see, hiding underneath is a 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8 engine with 631 horsepower. Now that's 60 horsepower more than the regular SLS. And it cranks out all that power without any turbos or a supercharger. The Black Series also boasted a screaming 8,000 RPM redline and enough carbon fiber to make a Formula One team jealous. But the best bit is that it kept the SLS's gorgeous gullwing doors, which are the coolest things ever. So far, the cars on this list are based on road cars, but the next choice started life as a proper thoroughbred racing car. It's called the CLK GTR, and it's a mid-engine supercar from the 90s. Mercedes wanted to race it, but first they had to sell 25 road-going versions to qualify. And these are some of the most extreme AMGs ever made. They came with a 6.9 litre V12 engine that made 612 horsepower, and they could do 214 miles an hour. Believe it or not, you could even get the car as a convertible. Problem was, all this race car tech was really, really expensive. The CLK GTR cost more than a million pounds when it was new. And despite that, it still came with the same brake likes as a regular CLK. Finally then, we come to the big one and the number one AMG on my list. Yes, you've guessed it. It's the AMG One. It's basically a Formula One car with a roof and a passenger seat. And that's not just the usual marketing nonsense either. It actually comes with a real Formula One engine. It's a tiny little 1.6 litre V6, but it makes 759 horsepower. And if that's not enough, there's also four electric motors that crank the power up to between 1,050 and 1,250 horsepower. That puts it in the same league as cars like a Bugatti Chiron. 
but the MG1 is much lighter than that car. It weighs about 700 kilos less than the Bugatti, so it should be even faster. It's actually a pretty incredible machine. I can't wait to drive one. Unfortunately, they're all sold out, so tough luck if you fancied one. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know what your favorite AMG is in the comments below. Now, if you click on those windows there, you can watch some drag races involving AMGs. And if you click on that box there, you can sign up to the Car Wow newsletter. And I'll keep you updated with all the latest car news and reviews in between these video uploads. It's completely free and you can unsubscribe at any time. Thanks for watching.